Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we even start this video, I have to show you guys this thing. Hang on, let me just, let me just, hang on. The flame puts me in the mood to do it. Yeah, dude, same. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon right here on Missiledyne Online. That's me, that's my channel, what's up? In the last episode, we went to Bale, and we explored the entirety of the city and got six Stardust, and now we found out that we have to go fight a war. So we're heading here to Hoax, which is this town right here, and we're going to stop the Imperial Sandora right now. So let's go ahead and enter. How y'all doing today? Hope you had a good one. Hope you guys are excited for more Legend of Dragoon. Welcome to Hoax. Let's go to the HQ first. Kaiser of the Eighth Knighthood will be waiting for us. Is this really a town? Don't look like no town to me. It looks more like a fortress. It looks like a fortress. I was just saying that, Shayna. Wow. The war changed it. That's true. Nobody wanted it, but it couldn't be avoided. Let's focus on our defenses now. All right, there is a bunch of stuff we can do here. Actually, there's not that much stuff we can do here. We can go to the end though, because I mean, that's that's right here. Now, you shouldn't need to rest at it, but if you're low on health, I suppose now wouldn't be the wrong time to do that. But we can grab a free item, which is an angel's prayer. Always good to use that. Let's talk to this guy. Hello? Uh, now let's walk away. We have a lot of money. Let's not spend it. What, what, what was that? It is not a time to be lying in bed. Well, what about up here? Oh, I wish I could go shopping in Lohan. That seems like a random thought to have right then and there, but what? Okay, whatever, Dart. What about this person? The wall of this town used to be to protect against animals, but now it's used to stop people. And dragons. Not a time to be lying in bed, Cory. Anyways, let's go down here. So we're not resting. There's no point. Instead, we want to talk to all of these people. I heard that Sandora not only has a dragon, but it also has one of the legendary Gigantos? Gigantos? And I hear Gi Giantos? Is it Giant Giantos? And I hear he's a pretty strong warrior. They have a Gigantos, a, 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 a giant, a giantos. Okay. Dole is a dominator who enjoys manipulating his country and people. We cannot hand over our Sergio to that man. I agree, and we won't. Let's head. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go in here real quick. Let's go. Let's go right into this house. I don't think we've gone in here yet. And considering this is where we need to go. Makes sense. There should be an item over here that we can grab as well. Kaiser, long time no see. Lavitz, welcome. I see your knighthood was... Yes, it was my mistake. But I won't let the dreams of my company end in death and be in vain. I'll end the war and unify Sergio. I will. Uh, we cannot stop until we make our dreams come true. Yeah. Now, I brought you two powerful helpers, Dart and Shayna. Oh, you are the famous guy who rescued Lavitz. I am Kaiser, the head of the Eighth Knighthood. Oh, nice to meet you. Could you inform me how we stand now? We are still preparing for the raid of Sandoras. What I'm concerned about is the information that they are using a dragon. It's better to fortify here and see how they move, rather than attacking a dragon that we don't know about. Then it'll be up to how fast we can spot the approach of the enemy. Great. Indeed, you are right. Dart, Lavitz, why don't you be the guard at night? Having Shayna too is not a good idea. Can you prepare the meals for the knights? The sexist. Preparing meals? Okay, Dart, you're gonna love it. Uh, yes, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a bit concerned. What? What? Lavitz's mother gave me a nice compliment. I guess it may be edible. I don't like what Rabbit Lavitz said. I can enjoy any any food. Just make a lot. I don't like what Dart said so much either. I don't care about the taste. Edible is enough. Just salt is enough for flavor. Even Mr. Kaiser, too. Kaiser, why are you stirring things up even more? Ah, I thought I was trying to relax her. Now, that settles the matter. I want Dart and the others to go look around Hoax. The night guards have to know the place. After you look around, come back to me. 
Stay with me, Lavitz. I want to go over the battle conditions with you. Now, shall we? Get along with each other. She is so mad at us. Yeah, yeah. She is so mad at She's gonna brawl with us? You wanna brawl with us? You gotta brawl with us. All right, let's head right back in. Don't talk to the Kaiser, we're not done yet. Instead, we wanna go over here. What is this? A Stardust, you don't say. My God. Okay, let's head out. Important to grab that Stardust, guys. We don't have that much, that much time to grab things here. The Sandoras are coming. So let's head up these stairs and go talk to this guy that's pacing back and forth. Hello, hello, hello. This pendant is an amulet that my daughter gave to me. Nice. Let's head into this little building. Ah, a church. Miss Gilda is a famous midwife from this town who delivered His Majesty Albert. I heard that there is an indescribable statue in the back of Volcano Villud. It is spooky. Volcano Villud, an indescribable statue. If we believe in God, he'll save us from agony. My paw is in the seventh fort. The seventh fort. The faint light of a candle is illuminating the church. This war is the trial from a god. Together, let's endure through it. This couch is serving as a barricade. That's a couch? I guess so, because it's a bench, right? I don't know. Majros, help me out here. What is that? All right, we're going to head down here and up these stairs, and then we'll go right into this building, one that we haven't been to yet. Hello? Now the defense for my house is perfect. Uh, everything is piled up here. I guess it's a barricade? I wouldn't rely so much on that, my friends. Anyways, let's check this fireplace, because in the cinders is a stardust, another stardust. I think we should get out of town. Get out of here. It seems that someone who was in a hurry brought them in. It isn't organized yet. Interesting. All right, let's leave here. So we got two stardust. That's all that you can find here is just the two stardust. And this will lead us out here. Then we can talk to this person. A delay in the detection of the enemy is equivalent to losing. Guards cannot let their attention stray even for a moment. Yeah, I mean, imagine if we were like guarding or something and we got hungry. Ugh, be terrible. Be awful. All right, let's go over here into this room real quick. What is this place? I see another item. Hoax in the seventh fort in the marshland. These two are the defense lines for the kingdom of Basil. Basil? What about you, guy? The rumor of a dragon? It could be a diversion of Imperial Sandora. Such a legendary creature can't be alive. It is, and I've seen it. All right, let's go ahead and grab a healing potion, naturally. Then we can, oh, ah, then we can get, get well, let's leave. And then we wanna go up here. We already went the other way, of course, so let's go into this, this house here. Where we can find another item chest, which contains 20G. That's it. Seems to be used as a storage room. What's down here, though? A storage room? Hmm. This is one fine fire. That is a nice fireplace. My God. Hello? Midwife Gilda. Well, well, we have guest. My name is Dart. I'm joining in the defense of hoax for a while. And both of you, when are you having your baby? What, what, what are you talking about? Y yes, we are. It's too early. Oh, you're visiting a famous midwife, so I thought you wanted to get some advice about having a baby. Anyway, come back anytime if you are gonna have one. I was the midwife for King Albert, too. Then you've been observing this country since before the war. Yes, it was 20 years ago. The former King Carlo passed away and his younger brother, Dool, broke away. It seems he couldn't stand having His Majesty Albert, who was only six then, be the king. His Majesty Dool and His Majesty Carlo used to be very close. I wonder what made them change. Interesting. We gotta go now. Well, work hard. When you need me, come back anytime. Need me? Meaning need a midwife? 
Oh, Shada. Thank you. We are lucky, Dart. This war started 20 years ago. It all began when Dole, the king's younger brother, created an independent country, thus dividing the country in two. So, Carlo died, which is Albert's father, and Dole is Albert's uncle, and... Oh! This is new. This is new, my friends. All right, let's go ahead and head up here. Then we can go back up. Wait a minute. This way. This is the way I was, I was like, wait a minute. I know I can get up here. And then we can climb up here and see what's going on with this guy, this this fella. That I don't think we've been able to talk to him yet. I don't think we can talk to him now either. Okay, let's go then. Well, that's pretty much all of the area that we can look at now for here in Hoax. That's it. That's all she wrote, folks. So I say that we uh, we go up here. This will actually lead us around without needing to go inside the building whatsoever, which is just a nice little handy way to get around. We want to go back into Hoax, uh, back into the where the where the war room meeting thing is happening. We can talk to this soldier. We appreciate the help of the two of you. You're very welcome. We got our Stardust, we got our items, we got the Angel's Prayer, the, the Healing Potion, the 20G. The taste of a meal affects a knight's motivation. We are counting on you, Shayna. Uh-oh. Did you see enough? I will take you to the guard position. We are fine now. We are fine now. We have just finished the strategic meeting. Now, I'll take you to your position. Well, I guess that means we're good to go. Hopefully prevent the attack on our, uh, our little city town here of Hoax. I want to ask both of you to guard the back gate. It's at the end of the stairs. Whoa, whoa, that's the back gate? Dude, I totally thought that was the front. Anyways, uh, all we have to do is walk up here and go talk to this guy and get ready, my friends. Uh, we do have some pretty fun encounters coming our way. I'm here to replace you. You can trust us. Yes, sir. If Sandora attacks, it'll be a night raid. We cannot relax till morning. Rest while it's still light. Listen to the owl and the fire crackling. It's strangely quiet tonight. If the dragon comes near, we can easily tell. Why is that? There are those in the forest. Nocturnal owls are hooting. It's the proof that nobody's in the forest. So, I'm gonna go grab something. Worrying about Shayna? It's not that. Bring me back something. Okay, fine, Lavitz. So, remember that thing about like abandoning your post? Probably not a really good idea, okay. And the owls fly away. Ah! From the front? The enemy is coming! The enemy is coming! Yeah, no big deal, just, oh my, oh jeez. Flaming arrows. Knighthood, advance, fortify the gate. You take care of the casualties. This poor guy, look at him. Y yes sir. Oh, this is not good. We'll counter them. All right, Lavitz and Dart back at it again. Looks like we got a couple people to take care of. These are just our typical Knights of Sandora. Easy to take care of. I don't really think we're gonna be struggle busting with these guys at all. I think we're at the point that we can one-shot them all. We'll find out, let's see. The Imperial Sandora Soldier. Oh yeah. Oh. Not quite able to take out one by himself. Uh, but let's go ahead and actually, let's, let's, uh, let's double up. Break that counterattack. Volcano, 26 damage. Okay, so Lavitz and Dart can team up to take out one. Uh, apparently I've been signed out of the PSN. That's great, thank you for showing up and ruining my video. Uh, anyways, we can go ahead, pop this guy right. 14 damage. Yeah, not quite enough to defeat them, but that's fine. With with Dart able to do that much damage, I think we'll be a-okay. 
There we go. Does that mean we stop the attack on Hoax? Wow, look at look at all that XP. 50 G. Wow. And watch live it's finish him off. Ready? Oh no? Okay. Huh? Oh, who is that? Oh, this is not Is this the battle HQ for the front lines for Basil? What a weak setup! I'll guard the top. Yo, we gotta go take down that Sandora Elite. Gotcha, trust me to handle here. All right, so it looks like Lavitz is gonna guard the stairs for us. Look at our sword, we like, our oh, I love it. Let's go deal with the Sandora Elite up here. This is kind of a boss fight. What guts you have, coming alone like that? I am here. I got those guys at the bottom. Huh, one or two doesn't make any difference. Big talkers are usually weak. It's like a mini boss, not quite a full on boss, but a mini boss. I have no doubt that we are going to destroy this guy. He's actually very cool and he can do a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, but we're gonna lay into him with our typical additions and see exactly what we can get done here. Lavitz is gonna be able to do a full 18 because he does have lower defense than the other targets that we were just fighting. Go ahead and counter attack. Make sure he doesn't ruin our volcano. Look at that, 33 damage on the Sandora Elite. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Of course, it's gonna hit us with a chain because that's just the way things work around here. Nine damage, a total of nine damage. That's actually not that much. And it's Dart's turn again, which means we can lay into him with a volcano that he actually didn't try to counterattack, which is very interesting. I mean, already we're we're kind of laying into this guy. Uh, oops, I missed that harpoon. That's embarrassing. Still 13 damage though. Missing an addition is not bad. No. Dude, this attack is so cool. Oh. Tremendous damage to Lavitz, though. 40 damage to Lavitz. That is that is not okay, my friends. Uh, of course, that one's going to be counterattacked, as usual, so we'll go and lay into him with that. 33 damage. I wish you could, like, crit on top of the... That was weird. There was like a little bit of a, a lag before I battled, but that's fine. Another 18 damage. Enough playtime. I'm taking my gloves off. Ready for this attack? He's going to split into three versions of himself, two of which uh, are fake. So we need to hit the real him. Here's the, here's the, the trick on this part of the fight. So when he does this, uh, he will never actually be next to himself or in the same spot the first three times that he does it the first three times that he splits so we're gonna go here on the left 33 damage i think that was the real him darn perfect that means that he is not going to be in the middle or at least he shouldn't be in the middle he should be on the right hand side now so we're gonna go ahead as soon as it starts while well, he's still up but when the when the next version comes out we're gonna go ahead and attack the right that should theoretically be the target we're looking for and like I said this guy can do a tremendous amount of damage you saw how much it was able to do to Lavitz that quickly so we want to make sure that we take this down it's also kind of interesting I've noticed that the first one to attack maybe these are just just my notes but the first one to attack always seems to be the real one but I guess we'll find out here nope that wasn't the real one so the one in the middle is so apparently uh, it's not that he won't be next to himself. It's that he just won't be in the same spot twice. So that means that the next time he does it, he will 100% be on the right. But I think we'll take him down before we even get to that point. Not quite yet. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Good job, boys. Good job. Lavitz and Dart. What a team, man, what a team. And we get a healing breeze, and look at that, 200 experience points. That is enough to get Lavitz to level seven. And Rod Typhoon, the new addition for him. He's gonna keep Harpoon still, cause he, he still has to max that out, but a new one. That's pretty cool, man, pretty cool indeed. Ugh. What is that giant? It's G-Gaganto! Giganto? 
Here we go, guys. Our fight against the Giganto? The Giganto? The Giganto? Lavitz! I heard about it, but he is real. The ones who fought so far were no match for him. Well, he's still not a dragon. Go! This, my friends, is the battle against Giganto, who has a real name. We'll see if they reveal it in the battle before I reveal it to you, but he is going to be a reoccurring character in this game. Kongol. Kongol the Giganto, the last one of his species. Let's go ahead and lay into him. You guys might remember in the first episode, a total of 19 damage, he does have actually surprisingly pretty low physical defense. It hits like a truck. Here's the thing. Uh, if you remember in the first episode, I, I did like a little voiceover thing. I mentioned uh, Gigantos or Gigantos in that episode. So if you missed it, check it. But also, if you miss an addition or you screw up an addition, he will counterattack and do a tremendous amount of damage. So do not mess up your addition system, no matter what. 28 damage out of Volcano, so it does look like uh, Mr. Lavitz is doing more damage than than he was on the previous fight, but Dart's doing less? Listen, I don't know. Uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and defend with Dart here just because we are getting a little bit low uh, when it comes to health. Both of, both of our boys here are getting a little bit low. Another 19 damage coming from Lavitz on Kongol. Yeah, only an eight damage once you're guarding, which means that you can restore some pretty decent. We're restoring 21. Uh, we're actually just gonna guard real quick. A couple turns. All right, I think we're good to begin attacking again. I just wanted to bring my health up just a little bit because he does actually do uh, a move later on that does not only a tremendous amount of damage, but it also hits both of us at the same time. Kongol needs no weapon. Kongol beats you with his hands. Okay. Yes. That's especially not good. He actually does more damage when he puts his axe away, interestingly enough. He's still in blue health, too. 19. Come on. Come on, Lavitz, with that harpoon. Look at this. Ready? Watch how much damage this does. Oh, my God. Oh, right into the back wall. 32 and 34. That is a lot of damage. But he is in the yellow, which means we can just keep smacking him as many times as we can. Look at all of those volcano additions that are happening. That's beautiful. Also, if you have any wind magic, I would recommend using it on our dear friend here. Uh, Detonate Rock is not going to go well. He is Earth Elemental, in case you could, uh, could, couldn't tell. He is indeed Earth Elemental. You can tell in his nameplate how it's brown. Another 32 and 34 damage. That's going to hurt. But we're good. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We're going to stick around. Uh, and keep hitting him as, as hard as we can. I think he has another move that he will potentially do that does about 50 damage. But hopefully we never even see that, especially if we don't. Uh, oh, there, uh, 25, never mind. That was the one I was talking about, uh, but it actually didn't do nearly as much as I thought. And he's in the red. 19 damage. Come on, Dart. Finish this off, my friends. Get that volcano edition. Here we go. Finish him off. Oh. oh. What is that? Wake up. Dragoon of the Red-Eye Dragon. What? Here we go. Uh, for the first time ever. Hey -o. Dude, so good! Introducing Dart 
The Red-Eyed Dragoon. What on earth is... And it's the woman that saved us back in episode one. That whole scene is one of my favorites in this game. It's so good, the music, everything. We ended up getting a power wrist from that, which is a very, very good item. And 300 experience, meaning Dart will hit level eight and learn his third edition, Burning Rush. One of my personal favorites, because it sounds ridiculous. The... These are not humans! Dart, you... What happened to you? I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. The Knight of the Dragon. The Dragoon was born. Ugh. I'm surprised you didn't die. Giganto don't die. Giganto will pay you back. Goodbye, Kongle. Dart! You are safe. Uh-oh. What happened? Seeing Shayna's face makes me relieved. Dart! Are you all right? Dude. Dude, sh dude passed out. What are you to Dart? What did you do to him? I was only... Cut it out, both of you. I should be thanked, so why do I have to be yelled at? Ugh. Have you come too? I... I was... I'm glad you woke up. It's a weird thing to say. You! You are... Rose. Nice to see you again. Do you know Dart? I told you. I just saved his life. Well, not only once. I want to hear it from Dart's own mouth. Yeah, you explain. I don't understand. She saved my life. Thanks to Rose, I was able to make it to Celise. Then, the person who saved you from the dragon was... Yeah, it's her. Talking about being saved, I didn't thank you yet. I don't need any thanks. I wanted to do it. I see. But why are you here? It is too fishy to be a coincidence. I followed you because I was fascinated by this artifact that you own. The Dragoon Spirit of the Red-Eyed Dragon. Hers changed color. Hers is now purple, his is red. This, this light is... You deserve to rule dragons. This light shows the true evidence. From the time the Dragoon Spirit starts to shine, you have to accept your fate as a Dragoon, just like me. I didn't know there was such power concealed in my father's memento. You saved him because you knew it from the beginning. I didn't know it. It was a test to see if he could be a dragoon. If you couldn't, you would be dead now. Why did you know about such things? You know too much about things nobody could know. It's better than ignorance, isn't it? That's true. But yours is not mere knowledge. It's a story and a legend that has been lost. I hear about it from Minister Noish before. The people who led humans to victory in the Dragon Campaign, they were the Dragoons. But was that the only reason you protected me? Just because I have a Dragoon spirit? Honestly, I was surprised myself, but now I know why. You guys look like my dear old friends. They lived in the middle of a turbulent generation. Yet they were strong enough to grab their own fate. They knew the way to go, the things to do, the enemy to defeat, and the people to protect. I feel the same about you guys, so I couldn't help doing that. Now you understand me? Can I ask you one thing? What are they doing now? Everybody's gone. It's all in the past. I'm sorry. I think I was wrong about you, Rose. It's okay. I'm used to being hated. What does that mean? Is the head of the knighthood, Sir Kaiser, in here? The, 
The seventh fort is under strong attack by Sandoras. What? Oh, dude, this place got demolished. The seventh fort in the marshland is under the fierce attack of the dragon. Due to that, the 10th and 13th knighthoods are almost overwhelmed. Survivors are still responding. Where did it come from? From the forest over the volcano Vilut. It seems there is a nest there for the dragon. Interesting. Gigantos and dragons. Hey, it's not a fight between humans. If we don't defeat the dragon, we don't have a future. Summon the rest of the knights. We will assault the dragon's nest. The knighthood has the advantage of numbers, but they are only human. Humans cannot defeat a dragon. If it continues, Basil will be annihilated. We don't know that until we try. Do you think a wasted death is honorable or something? Dude, Rose. But dragoons can defeat him. Dart, you should understand this. We have a different existence. We are beyond humans. That's right. Dragoon. Dragoons, which were said to have governed the dragons, can fight against the dragon. Maybe... I, maybe I can do it now. I felt it. The power of the dragon in me. I'll do it. I believe in this power. Makes me feel relieved. There is nobody left who can fight in the Eighth Knighthood. Dart, Rose, it seems you are the only people who we can count on. Oh, Kaiser. Kaiser, you, your wound is open. Ah, <sighs> just but a flesh wound. I'm all right. Dart, Rose, the Kingdom of Basil is finished unless we defeat the dragon, so? You can trust me. I will fight for you, too. I'll go, too. Doesn't seem to be enough if it's only Dart and the others. Shayna, you should stay. No, I'm going. I can help the other people too. What good timing, dragon. The Green Tusk Dragon Fairbrand. Brings back the fear I felt before. The real fear has not even begun yet. The real fear has not even begun! God, this game's so good. So my friends, we now have access. It was super! What about it? The Dart fella. Yesterday, he wore unique armor and defeated Kongle! With Dart, Imperial Sandora is not even a match as our enemy! Dart is the messiah of the kingdom of Basil. Messiah, huh? You cannot be called a real dragoon getting stunned like that by bursting with the power. Then tell me, Rose. Tell me, what do I have to do to be a dragoon? How should I fight as a dragoon? You guys ready for tutorial time? Well, let's begin. Okay. So this is a quick little uh, tutorial battle. You might remember something similar when we learned how to fight the first time from our instructor, Tasman. Uh, back in Solis. Uh, except this time, we are going to learn a little bit about the Dragoon. Let's begin. So there's a couple things that I really, really want to show you guys. Um, uh, let's go ahead and jump into Dragoon Additions. Transformations. Uh, first, transform yourself into a Dragoon. So I don't want to show the transformations because essentially what that is, is you have Spirit Points, SP. You need to fill up uh, your SP bar by doing additions. Once you fill it up, you get a hundred, you get a full bar, you can transform into this! Our first Dragoon transformation, uh, which allows us to actually enter to uh, change into combat as a Dragoon. We don't get to permanently stay in this form whatsoever. You emit power all at once with Dragoon additions. Charge up your power. Now, the addition system for Dragoons is a little bit different than it is for uh, your base character. Instead, what we have to do is uh, match the top when this light revolves, we have to keep hitting it at the top, just like that, to get a perfect if we can. Uh, this is actually something that I struggle with really, really bad. This is, for whatever reason, this is really, really hard for me. Uh, I can never do it, right? Uh, like, just on that, just that quick little instance. I only did 78 damage, uh, but I was still able to get the, uh, the, 
the, uh, what, th what was that, three? Let's try again, just because I want to show you guys what, potentially what a full perfect looks like. Not quite a perfect, but that was four. And as you can see, he'll charge in. 98, yes, keep it up. How was it? You got enough? Let's do one more. Perfect. All right, let's see. Ready? Ready for this? Watch how much damage, guys. And then it causes an explosion. 122 damage. You got it. Perfect. Yeah, I know I am. Thank you. Uh, how was it? You got enough? Yeah, we're good. Now I want to show you guys real quick the magic attack. Now, if you're not catching any of this, totally fine. It's a little bit of a tutorial battle. Don't worry, you'll see Dragoon usage so much in the game now. That's not that big of a deal. In fact, there's even an option in the config menu to turn off transformations. Uh, just because, you know, after a while, they do kind of... They, you know, the animations take a while. So you go over here to your new uh, thing that shows up on your action bar here. Uh, we now have Dragoon, and we transform because we have the full SP thing that we already have. And God, I mean, I personally, I love the transformations every time. So, like, I'm probably not going to turn them off. You guys can deal with it. <laughs> I think they're so good. They're just so good. Uh, so, this time, this time, my friends, we can finally use, you may have noticed we have an MP bar. We've had an MP bar this entire time. Uh, and now we can actually use MP for the first time ever in the game. There's only one now. We can only have one spell, but the more powerful your Dragoon becomes, your Dragoon form becomes, uh, the more uh, magic you'll actually get with the ultimate magic, you know, being the best. So fire, flame shots, fire, strength, 50%, single, MP10. So we can only use this twice as dark. But watch this. This is like the true magic of the game, and it is beautiful. Yeah! Nice. 120 damage. See what I mean? That's a little bit better and easier and more consistent to get that type of damage than it is to do the Dragoon Addition system. Did you get enough exercise? Uh, yeah, I'm fine now. All right, so we're done with the tutorial thing. We'll exit out of here. Uh, Dart is out of his out of his dragoon form. Rose somehow, you know, she's she's experienced dragoon. She can stay in it a little bit longer. In actual combat, though, she can't. She can she can stay in it as much as Dart can. Getting SP by attacking allows your dragoon level to increase, and you'll have more spell choices. In the end, you can only rely on your own sword. That is super super important. That right there is super important. That is how we are going to farm and level our Dragoon forms as fast as possible, is by using the additions that earn us the most SP, which we'll get into in a second. This is what I can teach. After that, it's up to you. So you can talk to her again now. I'll be here for a while. Go prepare for the departure. You can go talk to her again. She'll, she'll be sitting there, and you can redo this over and over. But I want to show this real quick. So as you can see, Burning Rush, for instance, uh, base hasn't haven't done it once at all yet. It's a only a two edition addition. Um, it does 150 percent damage. Not very good. However, at its base form, it's already giving us 30, right? 30 SP. Obviously, that's going to be better for us than double slash. We're still going to be working on volcano, uh, but I think that that is something that is worth pointing out is how much SP those things actually give. Now, Rose did join our party. Hello, Rose. Leveled eight. As you can see, she does not have much health. She actually has a little bit more than Shayna, but not much uh, in 20 MP, which is pretty cool. Uh, she has, comes with one edition, Whip Smack, which each, it's a one edition system, and it gives us 35 each time, which is pretty nice, pretty nice for her to start off with, so we're going to be focusing on that as we go. In fact, we're actually going to replace Shayna right now uh, with Rose. Rose is going to join our party for the time being, just so you guys can see her. Um, again, Shayna doesn't have any additions, so using her isn't really the best idea, because she's not really gaining anything when you battle. Besides experience, right? Uh, so we're not going to worry about that right now. We also got a new item while we were fighting with our dear friend. The Power Wrist raises physical attack ability slightly. By slightly, they mean by a total of 10. 
uh, that's pretty that's pretty amazing instead of the night shield so our defense gets lowered uh, by about 10 but we do more damage so um, I think I think you know it's a little bit better uh, obviously we're gonna keep the war gods amulet on Labbits and uh, I think that's pretty much it for that we do have the healing breezes we didn't use any of them um, there is no need to use the N whatsoever after that because everybody as you saw was full health um, you can go in here and see what's going on in the Kaiser. You can go talk to the Kaiser. You got the Stardust and everything else. The Dragoon's Den. The Dragon's Den is located over Volcano Villud. Basil has no chance of victory unless we defeat the dragon. We are putting all our hopes on you. Interesting. Uh, as long as you got all the items, you're pretty much good. Nothing is new. There's no new items that you can get. Apparently, there's lava all over Volcano Villud. Who would have thought? Too bad we don't have a magic, uh, like a water magic user at all. I have a feeling that that new form that we got for dart actually isn't gonna be that strong you'll notice right off the bat those arrows that allow us to go into these buildings totally gone it looks like the midwife's building this building over here gone guys absolutely destroyed but don't worry they're not dead in fact everybody from hoax is over here back in the in the church the faint light of a candle is illuminating the church I delivered almost all the people who live in this town. Many of them died overnight. Well, it looks like everybody. My family was safe, but I just cannot be happy. Maybe I didn't pray enough. Oh, jeez, Louise. Many young people died and the elders are left. What do you have to say? We are taking care of the children who lost their families. Where was your god then? Anyways, you can see that Hoax got uh, pretty heavily destroyed in the attack. However, we were still able to beat the Imperial Sandora back, which is honestly almost single-handedly because of Dart. Well, Rose, I guess. I wish I could have seen Mr. Dart defeat Ms. Uh, Kongle. With Mr. Dart, the Imperial Sandora are no match for us. And of course, you can save here if you so choose. Uh, I'm not gonna save because we're actually gonna be leaving town anyways, but I wanna come over here real quick and show you that if we talk to this guy, it's off limits from here. The road is collapsed and it's dangerous. Can't go over there anymore. We can, however, still go into this building. Again, though, there's nothing new that you can get. The building, uh, for the most part, this guy's house seems to be mostly intact. I wanted to show this house to my baby, which was to be born. Uh... Is your baby no longer being born? That's interesting. He pushed himself for such a silly reason. It would have been pointless if he died. Who? What are you talking about? Anyways. That's it that we can do in Hoax. Hoax, my friends, is done. So in the next episode of The Legend of Dragoon, uh, I'll show you Rose's combat. But anyways, once we leave the town, I will consider you as a mature dragoon. I won't teach you how to fight anymore. Okay. Okay. I'll be alright. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And that, my dear friends, is the Imperial attack on Hoax. Our first real conflict with them. A war, if you will. Uh, okay, I'll show her, I'll show her real quick just while I walk over to where we're going. Let's show Rose off in battle. She's so strong. And, of course, we're fighting one of these guys. That's okay. I'm pretty sure Rose can take him out. No problemo. Uh, Rose is super fast, by the way. So let's go ahead and whip smack. Whip smack. 37 damage. Oh, my. Well, that's Rose. That's her addition system. That's her whip smack. Super strong. Beautiful girl. Level 8, she comes into the party at level 8, uh, which is which is pretty nice. And I'm pretty sure that's regardless of what level Dart is at. So if Dart is level 6 or 5, pretty sure she comes in at level 8, uh, which is could be a huge boost if you didn't level early on in the game. Uh, I do want to check her arms real quick, because I'm not sure if she... She does start with a bracelet, but we're going to go ahead and throw her the Night Shield instead. She also has an active ring, which avoids the abnormal status to spirit. We're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, she can't really equip anything else. All of the all of the stuff she has is, is, is what she has. So, um, you'll also notice, uh, which I don't know if I pointed this out, and I don't think I did. You'll notice that we have two new badges, new two new things under DS, Dragoon Spirits dragon spirits we have the red and the purple one now very very cool 
So I'm going to go ahead and save the game. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Legend of Dragoon. Apologies on the delay. Uh, the actual thing got really, really messed up audio-wise. Hopefully this came out fine. You don't care about that. But hey, if you guys are enjoying these videos and you enjoy the channel, uh, may, I, may I just, you know, just say that over on patreon.com slash missiledineonline, you can get early access to all of these videos about a week early for just a dollar a month. There's a bunch of different tiers. Go check it out, see if there's anything that interests you. Uh, we're also streaming nowadays over on twitch.tv slash missiledineonline. Hopefully see you guys there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And remember, never give up, never surrender to Kongol.